Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Club today. This is Miss Carmen from the Pflugerville Public Library and today we are going to be making painted rocks. Let's go for the fun. Very well, we're gonna get started now and I want to go over the materials that we will need. You will need a few rocks. This is some rocks that I have not worked on at all. That's right. And you will need some paints a paintbrush, and probably some paper towel. I decided to make a ladybug and a butterfly. All I needed was four colors of paint, blue, black, red, and white. I went ahead and I covered, I painted my red rock for the ladybug and my blue rock for my butterfly ahead. You don't have to do that, but just remember that you'll have to give the paint plenty of time to dry. So this is what my butterfly is going to look like, and I'm going to work on the bigger one right now. Remember, when you're going to use paints, you have to have a protected space. I covered my space that I was going to be working on with paper. So let's get started on the butterfly. First step, use your black paint to draw the body. I hope I can do this on camera because I really want you to have so much fun, as much fun as I did. And this is a bigger rock than the one I originally painted, so it should be a lot of fun. So here we go. We are making the body. Are you guys following me? You can work at your own pace too. And I'm going to make the other wing now. I think my lines are a little bit too wide, but that's okay. Fortunately, Animals don't all look alike and they are not all, they are not perfect, well, so we can work with that. And I'm going to add a couple of accents, oops, here, and now that's all the black that I did on my butterfly. I'm going to go ahead and finish with black. And, ooh, it's not totally dry, but I think this should work. I am using the same paintbrush because I need the color and it's easier so I don't have to take too long and keep you too long on the screen. I want you to enjoy your time and go actually paint the rocks that you found. So. When you make the circles for the ladybug's body, you want to start in the very center and work yourself out. I made that mistake with the ones I have on my sample and some of my circles ended up being too big. I'm trying to fix that now. See, this looks really cute. I've seen so many beautiful rocks painted on the sidewalks as I walk, that is, or on the people's yards, that I am having so much fun. That's all the black I actually need for now. And I'm going to make sure that I don't spill, so I'll cover the paint that I am done with. That's right. Close it. And now I, I have a different brush for my white paint, just because it's easier for me to do it that way right now. Now I have some white paint and I'm going to work on detail. I actually use the bottom part of, or the top part, however you want to do, but the 
other end of the paintbrush to do the little dots. It works out that way. And I also did that for the ladybug's eyes. Now, this is wet. This paint is still wet and it may be a little more challenging to do it, but we're going to try really hard. There you have one eye. And let me try to make the other one. There you go. Really easy. And I need a little bit more of black to finish the eyes and we'll be done right away. A little bit more of black paint that I am also going to use the other edge of the paintbrush to apply. Oh, it's giving me a little bit of a hard time because it's wet. If you wait until it dries, your paint dries, it's easier. But it, you get the idea. And that's my ladybug. I hope you're all having a great summer. And we have completed two painted rocks. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I hope you continue to make more rocks. Check out our website and get ready for next week. It's going to be a lot of fun too. See you then.